this video we'll talk a bit about the imperial measurement. Now in Canada we use the SI system or sometimes it's referred to the metric system but uh, in the United States they're still using the imperial system so when you're driving down the highway in Canada you'll see signs saying the speed limit is so many kilometers per hour or it's so many kilometers to the next city but in the US you'll see speed limits posted in miles per hour and so many miles to the next city so we'll look at some of the different uh, measurements that that we use in the imperial system and we use some even in Canada here we still use some measurements in the imperial system for instance if you were asked your weight you might give your answer in pounds instead of kilograms pounds is an imperial measurement um, and we've kinda kinda still latched on to giving our weight in pounds even though we changed to the SI system back in the 70s so commonly the smallest length in the imperial system is the inch and it's sometimes abbreviated IN or more commonly you'll see these two two little tick marks like quotation marks for inches so an example would be something measures five inches we'd write that like that five inches now the length of an inch is approximately a two and a half centimeters so it's about the distance from the knuckle of your thumb to the end of your thumb so imagine that distance from the knuckle of your thumb to the tip of your your thumb that would be approximately one inch now the next uh, measurement up is the foot and that's usually abbreviated FT or more commonly with one little tick mark so example you might say somebody is six feet tall as a as a as a measurement so six with a little tick mark there and of course a good reference for a foot is is the length of your foot but keep in mind that that that's actually a it's a rather large foot so you might say it's probably about the length of a a man a full-size adult man's foot would be about the length of one foot then there's the next biggest one up is is uh, is a yard oh possibly we could just mention back here that there are 12 inches maybe we should measure this say this 12 inches is one foot so if you put 12 of these little inches together you get one foot so the next one is the yard and the yard is is more or less about the same size as a meter so approximately say the width of a door um, and one yard abbreviated YD one yard is three feet so if you put three feet together you get approximately one yard and then that leads us to the mile abbreviated MI um, so one mile and a mile is is longer than a kilometer it's a little more than a kilometer and a half and one mile is about 1760 yards so you can see why the metric system is a little bit easier to work with because it's always powers of 10 um, you know there's 100, 100 centimeters make one meter a thousand meters make one kilometer type thing so it's a little easier to do the math to convert whereas there's 12 inches that make up a foot three feet that make up a yard and 1760 yards that make up a mile so those are the the units that we'll work with here in the imperial measurement and we'll look at how we might convert some of those measurements from one form to another let's let's say that somebody walked 10,000 feet they went on a hike they went on a hike that went 10,000 10,000 feet now that's a, a 10,000 is a big number and feet's probably not a good measurement to 
to use to measure a hike. So let's convert 10,000 feet into miles. Well, what we're going to do first is we're going to convert the feet into yards. So what we know is we know that one yard is the same thing as three feet. So one yard equals three feet. So I'm going to have my yards over my feet. And so I, I have an unknown amount of yards here over 10,000 feet. So I've set my ratio up. One yard is to three feet as or equals x, an unknown amount of yards, is to a thousand feet. So now I can solve my little ratio here, isolating x. All I need to do is multiply both sides of my equation by 10,000. And I get x equals 10,000. 10,000 times 1 is 10,000 divided by 3. So going to the calculator, 10,000 divided by 3. I get 3,333.33 3, yards. So I've now converted, the hike was 10,000 feet. I know now it was 3,333.33 3, yards. So now what I need to do is convert the yards into miles. So again here, I have one mile is to or equals 1,760 yards. And I want to know how many miles then is 3,333.33 yards. So 1 is to 1,760 as x is to 3,333.33. And make sure your units are in the same order. Miles on top in this case, yards in the denominator. So to isolate x in my equation, I just need to multiply both sides by 3,333.33. 3. These will cancel out. x equals 3,333.33 3 times 1, which is 3,333.33. 3 divided by 1,760. So I'm just going to take that answer and divide it by 1,760. And I get about one, let's round it to the, to the nearest tenth here, 1.9 miles. So we now know that 10,000 feet, if that was how long their, their little hike was, then in miles it would be about 1.9 miles. And so that's the um, uh, imperial system, and that's how we can simply use the ratios to convert one unit to another.